welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today I have got a Zaful, Zaful, however you want to say it, haul for you guys. Um, this video is very kindly in collaboration with Zaful. Um, I picked up a couple of pieces um, and the items were very kindly gifted to me. And I'm just going to show you them today, show you what I picked up. Um, Zaful is one of those websites where I feel a lot of people don't know, not much about it, but it's like, um, what's the word? You either love it or you hate it, do you know what I mean? I feel like sometimes things are absolutely insane um, and you can pick up some amazing pieces um, but some people find that it's on the cheaper side and stuff like that however I find it really affordable and I'm really impressed with everything that I've picked up today so fingers crossed you guys are too. Um, I'm just going to get straight on with it though because I feel like my intros are always so long and they just don't need to be. Um, yes I am starting my video off in pyjamas because these pyjamas are actually from Zephyr, I'll talk about them in a minute. I do have some discount codes for you and I'm going to read them out because I don't want to get them wrong. For 18% off, you can use the code EMILYBALL and that'll get you 18% off any day of the week, any time, etc. But from the 16th of November to the 4th of December, you can use 22EMILY and that'll get you 22% off your orders over $79. Um, obviously in pounds, I'm not sure what that is, but if you spend over around £70, between November the 16th and December the 4th, you can get 22% off. Um, which is obviously like quite a big saving, especially as Zaffle is already really, really, really affordable. But yeah, so these are the pyjamas that I picked up first. Um, they're just like these white satin PJs with obviously like the black pipe in detail. I love satin pyjamas. I'm not really a pyjama kind of girl. I don't tend to wear pyjamas much. I wear dressing gowns, I wear hoodies, joggers big t-shirts that kind of thing however when I do wear pajamas I like to wear the satin ones I've got a couple of pairs of these now um I just find them so comfortable I think they look really like luxe do you know what I mean like I'm in pjs but how cute do they look um let me stand on the stool so you can see I actually picked up the shorts the shorts and the long sleeve top um I don't tend to like pjs with long bottoms I don't actually wear pajamas in bed anyway I do sleep but naked um but i just thought shorts are nice because i can wear them in summer but i can also wear them in winter which is why i like the long sleeve top because although it's long sleeved in the summer it's so cool like this is not thick at all it's going to be really like chill comfy and yeah they just remind me like of brides you know like bridal pjs when there's like the bridal party and the bridesmaids have pink ones that say bridesmaid and then the bride has these white ones i just really like them the white is so nice i mean it's probably not going to be ideal with my makeup and my fake tan but I love them. I think they're so cute. I'm pretty sure I picked these up in a size extra small. Doesn't say. Where can I find the size? Can't find the size. Picked these up in a size small, not an extra small. I don't even know if they do extra small. But these are small. They fit perfectly. They're like not oversized, but they're baggy. Do you know what I mean? So they're nice and comfortable. I then picked up this little top, which is mm, not my favourite top. I'm not sure if it looks that great on me. Um, it's like this knitted bandeau sort of style love heart shaped top it's really really cute don't get me wrong and it's in this like stone color um i just wish i got it in black so they did it in so many different colors like so many different colors um and i just went for this one because in autumn winter i just really like this color and i feel like it can be warm throughout the whole year like in summer as well i can pop this on with some like denim shorts and it'll just look really cute um and i do think it will i'm just not sure it's right on me i don't know if my shoulders are too big or my boobs are too small i don't know i just I'm not sure it looks great on me. I like the top and the quality is amazing. It's not see-through at all. It's really, really thick. And I say I don't like it, I'm probably almost 100%. Oh God, look at my hair. Gonna wear it at some point, I want to bounce. Not at the minute though, because we're in lockdown. But I don't know, it is really cute. I really do like it and the way it fits. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay up very well um, because I am um, got very itty bitty titties. Um, that's the back. But yeah, quality wise, for the price i think this was under 10 pounds um which is obviously insane and yeah i think if i had this in black i'd really like it with a pair of wide leg jeans i'm just not sure that the color suits me right now so i'm not sure why i did this but i picked this up in size a and it's just way too big for me it's just like a black cropped bralette and it's got like corset cup detailing um around the booby areas um Maybe a size 8 was the smallest that they had, I'm not sure, but a size 8 was never going to fit me. I have no boobs at all and I'm quite small. So if you're a little bit wider than me, I feel like this will be really, really nice and flattering on you. But for me, it just 
it doesn't fit, unfortunately. Um, I pictured this with a pair of joggers. I thought it'd be like, to be fair, if I fold it, it's not too bad. So a pair of like high joggers, um, chunky trainers. It is still cute. It just doesn't fit me, but it's just like a little black cropped bralette style top. Um, pretty sure this was under £10 as well. Um, so then I also, while I've got this on, I'll show you this blazer that I picked up. Well, I think it's a jacket, not a blazer, but it looks like a blazer. So it's like this, I can't remember what it is, is it called dog tooth or hound's tooth or something? Um, print, which, don't know why I was drawn to this, because I'm not really a fan of this print. I find it quite like middle-aged, if you know what I mean, like older women, um, like office older women mum vibes. But it just really stood out to me, and I actually really like it. I was picturing this with like a black top, like the one I've got on, um, and a pair of like leather jeans or leather leggings. Um, just doing the buttons and then I'll show ya. Literally just like a jackety style blazer. It doesn't feel like a blazer, it does feel more like a jacket. However, it looks like a blazer. And it's got these buttons, I'm really struggling to get it through. But the buttons on it ooh, are like tortoise shell, is that what you call them? And they go all the way down, let me stand on the stool again. So you can see it properly. So it's just a little bit, obviously I won't wear with these shorts. Um, but it actually looks quite nice with this top to be fair. Um, yeah, I think leather jeans, leather leggings with this will be super, super cute. Covers your butt, so if your leggings are see-through, that's all good and heard. Cycling shorts in the summer, even spring actually. Um, but yeah, like I said, I wasn't really sure about this print before, but now I've got it on, I actually think it looks quite like mature, sophisticated. Sort of like you've tried to make an effort because your outfit's quite like... Do you know what I mean? It's not like casual, however, it's not the most dressiest thing I've ever worn in my life. I just really like it and I like the fit of it as well. So I got this one in a size medium, so it's nice and oversized and I know a lot of people like to just place things on their shoulders so if you wanted to just pop it on your shoulders as a little throw over that is cute too. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. About the state of my tan also throughout this video and also my nipples in the next couple of clips. I'm not bothered by nips but I know a lot of people are offended by them so I apologise but we don't wear bras around here because we want to be comfy and also I don't know why they look so wonky so ignore that i don't know what it is about these dresses that just makes me keep on picking them up but it's shock another one of these like ruched side dresses let me just tie this one up so you can see i have got literally so many of these and i'm pretty sure i've picked one up in every single one of my every single one of my hauls in the past like six months um again it's a stone beige color you guys know i love that in the autumn winter times love this one shoulder this was like in fashion maybe two years ago now um i'm going to turn 18 my hair's really bugging me. When I turned 18, this one sh like sleeve shoulder thing was really in. Um, haven't really worn a one shoulder thing for a long time, but saying that, I really like this. It's so flattering. It makes your collarbones look really nice. It's ribbed, beautiful color. Absolutely love the color. It, woo, and it fits so well. I think I also say this every time that every time I get one, I'm like, oh, this is definitely my favorite. Oh, and it fell off. But. I feel like this is actually my favourite one I've got so far just because the sleeves are a little, obviously a little bit different, the shape's different, love the two ruches, I really like it, I think it's really cute, pretty sure I picked this up in a size extra small, let me just double check for you guys, this is a size 8, so I think their, their size small, extra small must be a size 8, um, but this fits really well and for reference I'm usually a size 4, so, okay so next I picked up another blazer and I got this one in a size medium, However, this one looks quite small, so considering it's a medium, I think maybe size up quite a lot, um, because it's quite small. But it's just like this brown blazer. It's definitely not the best blazer I've ever had, however, it's okay, like, it's fine. Um, not sure I'd wear it with this dress, just because there's two different brands, but I just thought I'd show you. Oh my god. It's more of a smart office blazer, rather than like a fashion stylish blazer, if you know what I mean. Um, has got shoulder pads which is really really good so obviously the quality of it's really nice it's a bit screwed up where i've just had it in the bag the reason i love this is because of the black buttons i don't know why but you know when like something just stands out obviously i really liked the look of the blazer and then i saw the black buttons and i was like i just really like that um i wish i'd sized up a little bit more just like because like i said it's not exactly huge it's very light um but yeah i reckon if i'd gone for a size large or an extra large in this I'd really like it but again just for chucking over your shoulders when you need something to like cover your outfit up or just make it look a little bit more dressy or anything like that really it really does work do you know what I mean so because we're back in lockdown I thought I'd pick up some comfy outfits because I'm literally going to be in the house all the time now and look at this 
like I actually can't even cope with this. So this was a little bit more pricey than the others. I say more pricey, it was probably like 15 pounds. The quality is insane. So it's like this like, it's like, it's like, it's like this cable knit material. I'm not sure if you can see that, I'm sure you can. In this lovely white like cream color. I actually can't cope. This fits perfectly. It's making my figure look so nice. It's really like, it's not uncomfortably tight, but because the waist is so elasticated and like the band is really thick, it's really sucking me in and this is 100% my favourite thing from the haul so far. When I say this is the softest like cohort set that I've ever owned in my life, it seriously is. I'm struggling to find the size of this, I can't see a label with the size on it, um, but I assume I got an extra small, or whatever the smallest size was. Can't tell if it's see-through, you guys let me know, is it see-through? I can't see. Doesn't feel like it'll be see-through though, it's very thick, like honestly very very thick. I love this, especially with my new hair it's so soft i'm literally just going to be living in this because there's nowhere to go nothing to do i'm still working from home so i know for a fact i'm going to get so much wear out of this whilst i'm at home so i then picked up another like card set like i said we are in lockdown you guys all I'm sure all know that um but it's just this blue one it's a different material i can't explain it so that one was like a knitted cable material um this one's like Sort of velour. I don't know what you call this. Um, it's so soft. It's sort of like a velvety soft though. That one was like a cuddly, like knitted soft. This is like a velvety velour sort of soft. Um, again, it's got the shorts. These ones don't suck me in as much, but I do still think it looks so nice. Love the colour of this. Baby blue is like up there with one of my favourite like colours. Oh my god, I'm so bobbly on the store. Like colours to wear. Like I really, really like it. Um, the sleeves. Look how cute these are. Like they go so tight around the wrists. I love this, absolutely love this. These two cold sets are definitely my favorite things from the haul. Um, the best quality, I reckon best value for price. They are the more pricey items, however. Definitely worth the price. The fit of them is just insane. I wouldn't think this is from Zaffold, do you know what I mean? These are the sorts of things that when you see them on the website, you're gonna be like, nah, they're too good to be true. Like the model has made that look so nice in the picture, but it's not gonna look like that. I think it actually looks better than it did on the website, which is insane. Oh my god, I love it. Finally, I picked up a pack of rings. So I only ever really wear silver rings. I prefer gold jewellery. Um, however, rings, I always wear silver. Um, so I thought I'd pick up some gold rings to match out my gold necklaces and stuff. Just for the days that I want to. Um, and actually, it's my 21st birthday. Will this be up before or after my 21st birthday? I'm not sure. It's my birthday next week, basically, when I'm filming this on the 14th. And um, Alex and Eva, my two best friends, bought me a Vivian Westwood bracelet and this is gold so these rings are going to match perfectly you can count how many are in here two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i think there's twelve obviously oh god obviously aren't going to be like real gold so they are going to make my fingers green i'm sure but if i don't wear them in the shower and stuff then it should be fine um fingers crossed they fit me let me choose some of my favorite ones she a full on that I've just chucked a few of them on. I've put on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And this is what they look like. So obviously there's still loads left. They are so cute. They fit so nicely. I love the fact that there's some big enough for the thumbs, but also some big enough, like small enough even for my smaller fingers. Because obviously fingers are all different sizes and there's nothing worse than binary and it not fitting on the finger you want it to fit on. So yeah, I'm really happy. This is probably my favourite one. It kind of looks like the Louis Vuitton ring, which I'm desperate for. And I may potentially treat myself for my birthday. Um, I haven't decided yet. But that one's also a band one, which I really like. I've just stacked those two. The good thing about having so many in the pack is you can stack them however you want. But I'm super happy with these. And I think these are literally like £2. I'm not even joking. And there's still one, two, three, four, five, six on the side. So that is what I call a bargain. And I'm sure you'll be seeing me wear these in all my videos now because... I love them. So that is everything that I picked up from Zaffle guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much to Zaffle for actually gifting me the items for this video. I really appreciate it. You already know that. Um, don't forget to use my discount codes. I'll leave all of that info in the description box below just in case. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all coping well in lockdown. Fingers crossed this doesn't go on for too much longer. Um, but I say this all the time, but I'm here if you ever need anything. And I'll also leave some links below to some helplines and things like that if any of you are in need of any support but yeah i love you guys so much and thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video ciao <laughs>
what a wonderful world.